Hi, my name is David McCann for WebTNG. And in this screencast, I want to talk about a new plugin from Thrive Themes called Thrive Comments. This plugin just came out the end of November, and it was funny because just days before I got an email telling me about the plugin, I had been thinking about how the WordPress commenting area is a big black hole. If you're like me, you've had kind of a bumpy ride with WordPress comments because the bare system that comes with WordPress isn't sufficient. I've tried different things. I've tried Discuss, you know, the third party service. I've tried um, piecing together a comment system using free plugins on WordPress.org. I've tried Jetpack. And, you know, to tell you the truth, I like Jetpack, except now they've started to add so many advertisements in the WordPress administration dashboard that it just got annoying. So when I saw the announcement for Thrive Themes, the comments plugin, I was kind of excited and hurried over and to check it out. So let's take a look at the admin. When you install the plugin, you get this uh, menu area here and four menu items under it. Now I think the dashboard, this first one, is common to all the plugins. So if you have other plugins from Thrive, you'd have a card here for those as well. And if you click on this first one, Thrive Comments, you'll actually go down here to the fourth menu item. But uh, I'm going to step through these. So let's look at the other items in the dashboard here. The Notifications Manager, that does not apply to the Comments plugin. It's for other plugins. But the API Connections does. And you'll see I've already set up Mailgun, and you need an outgoing service to handle your outgoing mails. And so this is going to be used for sending the notices that your comment has a reply or there have been other comments on the article. And I've already set it up, and I don't want to disconnect it, but if you look at the list here, you actually don't see the options for this, but these are the other types of connections that they have. So you can see there are quite a few, well, here's email delivery. So you can see there are quite a few uh, integrations for their various plugins. Not all of them apply to the comments plugin. And the second tab here is the License Manager. And I should say that the plugin doesn't work without a license. And so it's not something that you can get and try uh, as a light version and then upgrade. But one nice thing about the Thrive plugins is that when you buy the plugin, you get a lifetime license and one year of support. And they say that the if you need more support, that that's at a lower cost. So that's nice, and I've already activated it. The third general settings tab, none of this applies to the comments plugin. But this is the area here where everything is uh, germane to comments. These are all the comment settings. On the right over here you have a preview and so you can look at what the comments will look like for mobile and desktop. And if you make changes to the style it shows over here. So the first tab there is the general settings and it reminds you that if you have a caching plugin enabled that you should 
clear the cache after making changes. And then there's the option to enable the comment plugin site wide. If you do that, then Thrive Comments will appear and take over anywhere normally WordPress comments would. If you have this off, I think there is an option to use it just for posts. Uh, but I haven't looked into that. Then there's um, you know, the option that users have to be checked in or logged in, that people can comment with their website accounts, that uh, you can disable old uh, comments on older articles, and that you can split comments into pages if you have a lot of comments on an article. And then an option of how you're going to sort the comments. The second tab, comment conversion, as I mentioned previously, Thrive is all about conversion and sales. So you see that there are options on what you can do when a user leaves a comment for the first time. You can show them a thank you message. You can give them the option to share uh, on a social media site. You can show them related posts. You can redirect them to another page or URL. And if you have Thrive Leads installed, you can show an opt-in form to get them to sign up. And then you have the same set of options that you can show if someone comes back and leaves another comment. So potentially, you could show them two different uh, conversion options. Then on sign in, you have an option to allow guests to show, enter their website URL when they leave a comment. You can enable social sign on. Right now, I have it set for anonymous, but um, uh, you could set up Facebook or Google. And I put in a feature request asking if they might consider adding Twitter. I don't know if they would. But Facebook, Google, and Twitter are the three most common uh, social login options that I've seen. And if you've made connections to Facebook or Twitter or Google or another network before from your WordPress site, you know that there are some hoops you have to go through in order to enable that. It's not something on the WordPress side. This is the process that the different websites have set up to allow you to use their login uh, for um, a third-party site. As I said, there are not too many style options. You can change the accent color, which is the commenter name and the color border and text on the buttons. You can choose uh, the avatar image if the user doesn't have a gravatar. This will be the default. You can set the date format. You can hide the date, do relative time. You can give the option to share individual comments and to show Powered by Thrive themes. This is kind of a unique part of the Thrive comments that you have voting and badges built in. So you can let people commenting have the option to vote up and down, up only or no voting, uh, have the option that they have to be logged in to vote, and then to mark upvoted comments as no reply needed. And that's, I think, so you don't end up moderating uh, just thumbs up votes. And then they have some badge options here. 
So you can set up a badge and you give it a title. So it could be, you know, um, veteran commenter or something. And then you have some rules here that you can apply on why the person gets the badge. What, what have they done? They have a feature comment. They've got 10 upvotes, different things like that so that you have the badges. And you can upload your own image or use one of the ones they have. And then you have the option to award badges to moderators so they have some site flair. I'm not going to use that now, so I'm turning that off. And then for notifications, this is where the setup of Mailgun comes in. And you have these templates for the email that goes out when uh, there's a comment notification or a post notification. And this is a preview of what it looks like in some of these fields here where you see the pencil are editable. And they have these placeholder tags and now a list of them over here that you can use to customize the template. And they have, you know, subject and content. And it's the same kind of thing here for the post notification. And finally, they have advanced settings. So you can set up which roles are moderators. You can exclude comments from moderators in the moderated dashboard. And I think that means they can moderate on the front end. Um, and then there's an interesting option to automatically link keywords into moderator replies. And I believe here, if you had something like an FAQ section or customer service form or comment form, you could uh, have keywords in your reply and it would link to that page automatically. And then the option to load comments in real time, which I think might put a, a little bit of a server load um, because you can set how many seconds you want to check for new comments. And so I've, I've left that off, but maybe for some exciting article where you had people commenting quickly, it would be interesting to have that. There's the option to customate, customize and translate the labels that show on the front end, so that's nice. And then some optimization options to load comment section only when the visitor scrolls to the end of the page and um, to load the next page of comments only after the user clicks on load more and load the avatar image when the commenter enters the viewport comment enters the viewport and those are all nice like uh, if you remember in the beginning I was talking about how the discus commenting system would slow down the loading of the entire page while you waited for that. So this is nice. So that's the dashboard and the menus there. There's one other area that's added here, and that is the comment moderation section here. And so you can set up keyboard sh shortcuts. And you can see that there are different status that the comments could have. You can reply to the comments here. You can assign it. If you have several moderators, you can assign it to someone else. It tells you which article it was on. And um, so, you know, this is pretty nice. A nice upgrade of the normal comments. Um, interface. If we look real quick on the front end, I'm going to go look at one of my articles and just scroll down. And so we see, I don't know if you saw that, but the comment section just appeared there when 
uh, we scrolled into view and we scrolled down. This little thing here is that's a browser add-on I have for grammar checking, so that's not part of the commenting plugin. And so you can choose how you want the comments sorted. You can enter your comment. You can subscribe to comments. So all in all, I think uh, you have quite a bit of functionality in one plugin. It's I, I'm pretty you know excited about it. I think this is worth watching, and um, I have had no issues with it on my site setting it up. There's pretty good documentation, even though it's new. They have a lot of articles in the knowledge base. But it is a version 1 plugin, and I noticed in the forums there are people who are asking questions about how to set it up. There's some people who have been having issues, and this just came out the end of, end of November. I think it was in beta before that, but uh, for the public, it just came out the end of November, and they've already had one small bug fix, and... You know, as it, as issues are addressed, I imagine they'll have some more. So it is a new plugin, but I think there's a ton of functionality here, and I'm looking forward to uh, testing it out and and seeing what it can do. When this came out, I looked around on the internet. There wasn't any review of the plugin and so I thought I would put one together. I hope that you've found it interesting. And I'll have a link on the website on the bottom of the page if you want to go check it out. It's uh, the new Thrive Themes plugin. Let me know what you think and I hope you have happy WordPressing. Thank you. Bye-bye.